And now a quick simulation of the law of large numbers. So as a probability experiment is performed many times, the law of large numbers states that the observed value, usually a mean, will arrive at the expected value. So imagine a probability experiment where a coin is flipped and the number of heads is measured. Now, if you flip a coin, the probability of getting heads is 1 out of 2, or about 0 0.50. There's a 50% chance that you will get heads. So here's some data that I've just simulated. I have 10 trials, and for each trial I flipped a coin and then recorded my results. So you can see that after the first trial, out of one flip we got one heads. So that means we got 100% heads. After the second trial, we got another heads. So two out of two, we're at 100%. After the third trial, we get a tail. So that means out of three flips, we only got two heads. So now we're down to 0.66. As we perform more and more of these probability experiments, you can see we get closer and closer to the expected value of 0.50. This is best represented in a graph like this, where at the beginning we have some more extreme values, but on a long enough timeline, we will actually reach our expected value. If you had an infinite number of probability experiments, you would expect the observed value to be exactly equal to the expected value, according to the law of large numbers.